D. That's Barry. And we are with Hotep Kennels. Why are you so aggressive? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this is Frenchie. This is Frenchie last day with us. She'll be shipping out in a few minutes, a few hours, a few seconds. So we got her health certificate done. We got her records, I mean her um, paperwork back. We want to add that to another video so you can see how that went. Um, so what we want to do before she leaves is go ahead and give her another dose of the, of the what is it called? Clamamox. The Clamamox for her ears. And we're going to put some new spawn on them. Oh, oh. Riot. Rock. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some nail spawn on her ears as well. And we're going to give her her shot. So we want to make sure we have record of that, even though she's leaving, that we did minister her her shot. Her, um, her next booster. What is it called? <laughs> the 9-in-1. The 9-in-1, which is the second shot. So we still want to keep record of it until they, until they actually leave us. So there's no questions about it. So y'all gonna see all this after the fact. Okay, other side, please. She's a really good pup. I like her. Spunky. Yeah, she is spunky. She got some oomph on her. Very active. She's like, I'm just sleepy right now. <laughs> mm, I woke up. And the stitches are still in. Um, we did speak to the owners. They said they're gonna take it to the vet on her side, mm -hmm. and they're gonna um, let them take it out. So normally we'll go ahead. Will you keep still? Normally we'll we wouldn't ship her off. So after the healing process was done, the stitches was removed and everything, and waited seven days after that. But she said she'll take care of it. So. She's fine with it. So we're just gonna go ahead and ship her off. Actually, the guy's on his way here to pick her up. Yep. Um, what, what thing we use? What company? Utah Bedrock. Utah, Utah's Bedrock Transporter Bullies or something like that. <laughs> what is this? Let me see real quick. Hold up. Utah's Bedrock Bullies. Bullies, okay. Yeah, Utah Bedrock Bullies. Yeah. That's who we used. Um, so he's been keeping up, keeping us up to date on his arrival time. And that was about maybe 40 minutes ago. Something he said he'd be here in an hour. So we just want to get everything done and taken care of. Barry's about to give her her shot. And we're going to put this on record yeah. with the rest of here. Just right here, baby. Just took it out. We're going to put that on record with her other shots and, and make sure all that information goes with the, to the owner. Yeah, with the shepherd to the owner. So, hopefully she'll get there. He says Sunday, Monday, the latest. All right, two to three days. Two to three days. Today is Friday. So, yeah, baby girl. You gonna miss us? We gonna miss you. Sure. <laughs> With yeah. the two well, I turned up in Connecticut. Yeah, she gonna be turned up in Connecticut. Oh, they gotta buy you a sweater. So we can get Ooh, out. it's gonna be cold in Connecticut for you, baby. See, I'm a hotel kennel dog. I can handle that. <gasps> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> mm. But all she do is. Mm -hmm. She's a pretty girl. Why you got my arm on lock? I know. Okay. Blame your male temporary owner. <laughs> I'm the creator. Hell yeah. The you blame your creator, your yeah. male creator. Yeah. So. Cut creator. Cut creator. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Ready? All right. Let's go. Second booster. Coming right in. Keep still. Okay. Here we go. Good girl. Good girl. The second shot has been has been given. So, so that information 
I normally take the label off the bottles and put it on the index card. What you about to do? Yeah, there's one already over there with the first one on there. So, um, she's good. Sure? We got a bag of food ready for her to go for travel. Um, I think that's everything. Yeah. So the next video you want to see with all of them, she won't be in it. Mm -hmm. No. No. Nope. She won't be in it. We'll be down to a limb. A limb nut. So Frenchie, it's been real. Appreciate your time, your effort, your energy. But it's time for you to go. Only seven of them for sale. Seven? You ain't know who's keeping for? We got Pun T'Challa. Oh, maybe five. <laughs> maybe six or seven. <laughs> we got Pun T'Challa. Mm -hmm. Falcor. Falcor. And Egypt. Egypt. That's four. And Black Sam. Black Sam. That's five. Black Sam is a keeper, but if somebody wants him, he can go. <laughs> I like Black Sam, that's why he's a keeper. But I'm not hardcore body on Black Sam like that. I am, but I'm not. He's turning out nice, one. He is turning out. Wait till I see you. Oh my god. Really? That's what we doing right now? You giving my goodbye kisses already? Wait till I see him. He looks good. Ah, I told Barry. He don't listen to me though. Really? You just going What the heck did you do? Really, Chick? It was too dark for you? This is a farewell to Frenchie. We don't know what her new name's going to yeah, be. Yeah, we don't know what her new name's going to be. But her paperwork and everything is going with her, and she'll yeah, be in Connecticut. Yeah, it's over there. Everything is over there. The health certificate, the paperwork, the shot records. You see it? She is prepared. I mean, she's got everything. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about we setting her off. She's got a comb. Just in case. Right? She's got shot records. Yeah. Right? And we put all that information on there once it's done. She's got a bag of dog food. A full bag. That's like right? a <laughs> that's like a 12 liter <laughs> paperwork. And right. health certificate. Right? Yep. That's everything. That's like this is like a twelve little feeding that she's going with. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. See that? Papers. She's paper. She's documented. <laughs> so that's everything. I know this video is probably a little bit longer than what we expected, but this is a farewell to to Frenchie. I'm gonna miss you, mommy. You funny. I like you. But your new one is going to love you more. We like you. We love you. We're going to miss you, but... You got to go. <laughs> <laughs> she messed up the thing. It's blurry now. I know, right? My bad, y'all. What you do? I mean, her bad, y'all. What you do? You just had to mess something up. Don't, don't try to make up to me now. All right. Say bye, YouTubers. This is going to be the last you see of me. I'm sorry, subscribers and future subscribers and YouTubers and the ones that comment are YouTubers. A lot of them. They own channels too. Yeah. So, thank y'all for tuning in. Barry closes out. All right. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Instagram, and check us out on TikTok. And be sure to hit that notification bell. And stay updated with our future uploads. Really? Peace and blessings. Blessings. Frenchie, I think your ride is here. You ready to go? You like where is it? I don't see nothing. Where? Yep. I think he made a U-turn. You ready to go? Let's go. Oh. It's okay if we record? What's It's okay if we Absolutely. record? Okay. <laughs> well, Frenchie, it's farewell. So long. Hate to see you go, but glad that you're going.
<laughs> oh, what's that down there? I see. You ever Whoa. heard of Hurricane Bay Kennels? No. Oh, wow. Mm. Hurricane Bay Kennels. You have to look them up. Wow. That mole is going to town on this truck, though. Huh? That mole is going to town on yard. Yeah, it is. He just all on it. Ooh, got me. Ooh, got me. Ooh, I hit this part there. Ooh. Great. You ah. have to make sure I got it first, Barry. Ah. Ah. Oh, Why are you trying to come out? Yeah, you can uh, set him down. I'm going to take a picture of him real quick. I want to see if it's going to get him on. Do it yourself? I got a lot of sticker bugs in my front yard, so I got to be careful. You're going to have to take something out of my hand. Here, what do you do? Do you want to hand me the food? Yes. Thank you. Put a hat on. Get underneath. Oh, come on. So are you the one that originally contacted me then? Yeah. That's the certificate. Yeah, I'll take it because I'm already here, but just so you know, for future reference, if you guys mm -hmm. use me again, you want your vet to use it. It's a USDA. Form. Okay. And they can print those off on the USDA website or whatnot. Most vets actually have it. Mm. But if you let them know, hey, Domino, chill. <laughs> um, if you let them know that it's you need a travel certificate because it's going across the state borders and stuff okay. like that, that's, they'll know which one to fill out at that point because it'll actually have the USDA. Well, we told it was traveling to Connecticut, so yeah. And, and, and some vets, if they don't deal with a lot of dogs traveling, yeah, or something like that, they may not know, you know. Mm -hmm. So either way, you're too, you're probably paying the same amount for this piece of paper mm -hmm. as you would the other piece of paper. Okay. But the other piece of paper won't get me in trouble. Gotcha. You know? And this won't because I, you know I'll tell my inspector if they ever ask me, hey, well, what's going on with this? Mm -hmm. I was like, well, it's the first time, you know, they used me, they didn't know. I explained it to them, which won't it should happen again. You know? Yeah, it won't happen again. Thank you, I appreciate that. So that's that. That's the dog food. Here is her. This is for the owner. The papers, registration the, papers. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and leave everything there in that bag. Okay. And some also, I don't know if you do um, medicine or not while it, while they travel. I will if, I, if, if it's if it's a critical thing. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Well, it's because her ears. Remember, he told you about yep. the stitching. Yep. They gave us chewable um, pills. <laughs> So it's just Are two they times. Or she, or we haven't she tried them. She. 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 Okay. It, it, are you, so I keep little like sliced pepperonis and stuff uh -huh. like that for the dogs in case I have to do that. Or um, sometimes I get a, real, a dog that's really, really stressed out. Uh -huh. You know, and so I'll always call up the owner and say, hey, this dog's really, really stressed. You know, to calm them down to go to sleep. And I get this the ride. I carry Benadryl. You know, mm -hmm. We've heard of it, yeah. Salad. It's great for allergies, it's great for common. Mm -hmm. But I'll always call, never give it to a dog without permission from the owner, written permission. They have to send me an email saying, hey, it's okay to do okay. that. Okay. But um, so basically, if she doesn't eat the pill, I'll take it and wrap it up in a piece of pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Then at that point, the dog's going to Okay. Down. Yeah, it's just, um, it's just to make sure to keep the inflammation or whatever. There's none there. But that's what this is for, so it doesn't develop during the two days while she's with you. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's just twice a day. Uh, okay. It says every twelve I'll just hours. Do it when I feed them. Yeah, okay. So she already she hasn't had it yet today. She had it today. She had it today. Yes. All right. So. Not the pill, but she had the other. She had the liquid <laughs> form today. Oh, okay. The liquid. So tomorrow when I feed, I typically feed the dogs from ten o'clock in the morning to eight o'clock at night. Okay. So I'm going to be getting down the road. I'm going to get about 20, 30 little truck stop, like 20 miles away or something. Okay. Stop after the night. 
and so basically when I stop for the night, you know, I'll take, I'll go through and I take all the dogs, clean out all the crates, wipe everything down. I use bleach water and try to affect insects. Mm -hmm. I use bleach, pull out all the, I got a shop back back here. You know, I plug in, <laughs> I pull everything out. This is, you know, 400 pairs of gloves. Okay. So when I clean out this dog's crate, mm -hmm. my hands, these gloves, won't touch that this one. Dog's crate. Okay. So now this dog, this dog, and this dog all came from the same house. Got so you. I can clean those three out with one third load to be done with it. Clean everything out. The shop back when I stick the shop back in to clean out the pine shavings. I use. Got your LED lights going on back here too. Beach water. Okay. Where you get trifecta from? You can get it online. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you're gonna do it for residential in your house, get rescue. Get what? It's called rescue. Okay. Rescue or tr for the house for residential, but trifecta. For yeah. Once I clean all the crates out and everything else, then I'll put fresh pine shavings in. I do that twice a day. I do it in the morning. Or just like 10 o'clock. Because you want them dry and clean, and they don't go dry and clean. And mm -hmm. you feel like this. He's only barking right now because we've been driving for four hours now without it. Since I messaged you saying, hey, we're that was the last time I let him out. You know, so it's like all the time. He's going to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Hey, chill, buddy. <laughs> So all the other dogs have pine shavings over here because of his hair coat. The older one pine shavings over there. So he's like, oh. he, he's kettle shaped, so he didn't come off. Gotcha. That's what they do with the pine shavings for. It's number one to help keep them clean. Yeah. And then if they do go to the bathroom. That's cool. I don't ever come off the van. The only time I have to come I come off the van is go to the bathroom. This is my bed right here. It just folds down on the Oh seat. wow. Wow. So, oh wow. You used to be a truck driver or something. What made you get into this? Um, actually, I got into this because I'm a breeder myself. Okay. And I got into it because of bad transporters. Mm. Uh, my first transport I ever did, I sold a $6,500 Merle to a lady in Wisconsin. Transporter so she said, "Oh yeah, it only take two days to get there to Wisconsin. It took nine days. The dog showed up. An eight-week-old pup showed up. Six and a half pounds lighter than I left. Ribs what? were showing. Ribs were showing." I was pissed. Yeah. The second transport I used, I hired them and they took the dog. They did a great job transporting the dog. But as husband's walking up to the door delivering the dog, the wife is shoveling dog shit into their dog. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm just going to start transporting my own dogs. Right. No one's going to do a better job transporting my dogs than me. Mm -hmm. And it just kind of ballooned from one transporter to another. <laughs> to another. It's like now I'm transporting for going up to New Hampshire picking up three dogs from DDK, delivering one to an okay. NBA player. I mean, it's, um, man, you ever heard of man-made kennels? Yeah. I transport for them. Okay. Uh, yeah, I transport Hurricane Bay kennels. So yeah. He does a great job. Hotep kennels? Yep. That's us. Yeah, he'll top. <laughs> Hotep. You know? That's what us. That? He'll, he'll top? Hotep. Ho Hotep. Hotep. Mm -hmm. what, what's Hotep? That means peace. Peace? To be at peace. Yeah. Well, to be at peace. We need so. a lot of it, right? Yeah. So that's what we feel like our dogs bring. They bring us peace. So. Oh, man. I've got two litters on the ground right now, man. I just don't want to be home in my so That's how I be feeling. It's killing me. Because that still works. I'm like, damn, I want to be home. <laughs> All right. So is that everything from us that you need? Yep, that's it. Just a pop. Oh. This, she hasn't. They, they gave it to us because of her ears, but. We have her put it on her. And she's and she's been she hasn't been messing with them. Yeah. So I guess we could just give it to the owner. I don't know. I mean it's up to you. I mean you guys pay for it. You probably won't use it. You may not you may want it later on. We might have another puppy around. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's gonna sell you every time. What'd you pay? Twenty bucks for that thing? I don't even remember. Yeah. So I mean it's better to keep it, you know? Yeah. Cause I mean she hasn't been scratching at them. And if you're going to give her the medicine, yeah. I'll look at the stitches. You know, that's a great thing about using me as a transporter. Because you already know. I know the breed. Yeah. So, um, I'll keep an eye out and see what we look for and stuff like that, actually. You want to look at them now? 
you still, uh, is that, you just got, is that Vaseline on there? Or? Um, Neosporin. ointment. Neosporin. Okay. Ne Neosporin ointment. Hey, yeah. How are you? Nice brindle. Thank you. <laughs> so what, uh, XL or? Yeah. Mm-hmm. XL American Bully. What's the ped pedigree on it? Oh, it's got um, Chevy, it's got uh, Camelot, it's got Razor's Edge in there. Oh, okay. A white pulling dog, Grand Chevy, like Razor's Edge. You like the red? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Just, that's one of my litters, it's a big solid uh, red lion litter. Yeah. Oh, we got two in the back. Red lions? Yeah. Two reds, not red, lion. not not red, red lions. Lion. Not red lions. Uh, yeah. Do you I know who uh, Brett Fredrickson is with Triple no. X? No. It's, uh, yeah, so he's a 145-pound male. Yeah. They do its gym. The dog's the cleanest XL I've seen. Yeah. With, with the red lion. And then my girl, Hazel, you know who Mega Bill Bullies is? Yeah. So they're, uh, Tonka is my girl's dad. Okay, I know Tonka. So in this pedigree, I got, in the top pedigree, obviously, Triple X and then my girl, Hazel. But yeah. their dad's Red Bear. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of Red Bear? Yeah. Red, 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 uh, red Bear in there, Warrior, mm -hmm. Simba, okay, Tonka yeah. in there. Yeah, I got a red bear daughter at home. Okay. I know those dogs. I know those dogs. So, you know yep. Big block is? Mm -hmm. I know big block. Dude, the, the, that's what's so crazy is the dog world is so <laughs> big. Yeah. It's so big. Right? When you think you, you met like the, you know, the one thing and then mm -hmm. something else pops out there. You're like, whoa, look at this. Yep. This is cool. It's a, all right, baby girl. Oh, yeah, I was gonna. Oh, I want to take a. I want to set her down right there for a second. That floor gets clean and sanitized. I just want to take a video. Of her videos. <laughs> That's okay, baby girl. I just like to show everybody the dogs show up. Just to stick, you know, yeah. <laughs> dropping it off. It was when I picked up. And a lot of people, a lot of dogs. Her name is Frenchie. I did put her name on the bag, so just in case. Yeah, I didn't I know how many that. you had. No, that's great. That's <laughs> amazing. I always ask people on the, on the bags. <laughs> uh, put the name, the breed type on there. Oh, know, I didn't put the breed type. I'm sorry. Well, no, I, I mean, he, this is going to be the only French I have. But, you know, so. <laughs> Has she been in pine shavings before? Yes. yes. Oh, so you're going to travel great. This is going to be crazy for you. Okay, baby girl. Got your water going on. You be good, mama. Those water bowls stay full, so. <laughs> The biggest thing is keeping them clean because they like to kick pine shavings in them. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Frenchie. See you later, baby girl. Oh no. Have fun. I'm sure you'll see videos and pictures. <laughs> Once you show that the dogs go, you gotta follow them. Yeah. yeah. Until you get too many litters on the ground and they can't follow them. Yeah. Where they at? Or kick them. Yeah. One thing that I did, I set up for my litters. I set up uh, Facebook group pages. That's what we just, have. just for that one litter. You know, oh, so for that one, one litter. Yeah. Okay, we so didn't like, do that. You know, like, so with my one dog, I did Zeke and Leia. And so everybody bought a puppy off of that mm -hmm. and threw them into a group. Mm -hmm. So that way we can watch the puppies grow and talk and stuff like that, questions and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, yeah. yeah, we have a Facebook page and we just put them in there. So they can also talk amongst themselves. I guess with each litter, you know, for everyone is in there. A Facebook group, yeah. Okay, baby girl. Well, and these are little chew toys that my wife gets. They're all brand new. No, no dogs ever touched it, and I do that just to kind of. Oh, keep them occupied. Yeah, keep them occupied. <laughs> Especially the puppies. She's like, what, what, what's that? She's like, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll work. <laughs> I'll give them something to do. They sometimes yeah. mess with it, sometimes they don't. Yeah, it's cold. We 
you'll be driving down the road next thing you know. Like, All right. Are you going to Connecticut first before New Hampshire before you go to DDK? Um, so that's what I'm trying to figure out because so New Hampshire is where I got to pick up three dogs from DDK. Right. And so I got to work around their schedule because they're so busy. They're always traveling all over the place. So I'm trying to figure out what I got to do. Domino, hey, chill. It's enough. <laughs> But uh, I gotta figure out exactly what route I'm gonna go. Time wise, it makes more sense for me because I have to go to Buffalo first and drop off the dogs. This, this dog's going into Canada. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So I have to go to Buffalo, drop off the, him there, and then it makes more sense for me to go straight to New York. Uh, to New York they live up at the top of the mm. And So I go over there and then I drop, would drop down in Connecticut. Okay. And then, um, this one's going to New there. York, New York. So. And then I get a load up. I always, anything going west, I, I pull almost all the time. So I'll empty all these dogs. Or, or, uh, actually, this one here, this Merle Pond Merle female is going to California. Oh, wow. That's oh. Is. What part of California? Uh, Antelope? Antelope, California? Antelope. North, Northern California. Oh, wow. I never heard of that. Dude. But I'm... I've got several dogs that I'm dropping off. I'm driving, you know who Andrew Wiggins is with the Warriors? With the Warriors? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm taking one to him. Okay. Um, so Wait. I got like four or five, five stops in California, two in Washington, one in Wyoming, one in Utah, I'm dropping one off in Utah and then going to Washington and then back to California. Wow. When are you ever home? Uh, two weeks out of month. Okay. So I got, I'm out on the road for two and a half weeks, and then I'm home for two weeks. So okay. Uh, that makes sense. And I play as hard as I want when I'm out. Yeah. Because so. <laughs> when I'm out here, that's all I do. It's like I'm clocked in. Mm -hmm. About mm -hmm. 14 miles for the day. How many? 1,014. For the day? I started driving at like 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. And someone said you probably drive at night because it's less traffic. Yeah. Well, I try to do that because I like to get pulled over early because mm -hmm. I like to get up and drive early. But the biggest thing is just if I try to drag out my day too long, I'm so tired when it's time to clean up after these dogs. You just want to lay down in bed and just go sleep. Yeah. You know, and it's like I'm one of the people. Once I hit that that mattress, <laughs> so. Hmm. I, I don't even put that bed down until these dogs are taken care of. That's so. good. Okay. Cool. I'm leaving on the road because it's about bedtime anyway. So yeah. yeah. Alright. Um, as soon as I get away from your house, I'll turn the GPS link on and send you all the links so you and your customer can follow us along the way. So okay. Right. Cool. So. cool. Appreciate it. I'll probably know more about what route I'm going to take when I get up into Ohio. Okay. I'll be up in the Ohio area tomorrow night. Okay. So. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Appreciate you it. We'll see you nice guys. meeting you. Have a good one. You too. It's a good looking pup. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna get some picture with your logo. I, I yeah. video the back of the logo. You did it? Okay. Yeah. Bedrock bullies and transportation. So Frenchie is on her way to Connecticut. Well, around about then to Connecticut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Whew, it's going to be a good one. How you feel? Good. Learn something new. First time transporting a puppy out. Um, uh, learn something new. First time transporting a puppy out. So I'm feeling good about it. And the fact that he's a breeder also also yeah. kind of relaxes our mind because he knows what to look for and what to do. Yeah, I knew and, that when I talked to him. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. That's good. And I also like the fact that um, he asks permission before he does anything other than what's norm for the dog. Remember he said he has to get written an email permission from the owner. Like if he needs to, like he said, like if the dog is not selling down, it's okay if I give him this. It's okay if I do oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I also like that and that as well. Yeah. So this is it. Mm -hmm. He's on his way, and this is Bedrock Bullies and Transportation. Um, we'll definitely keep you updated on the process of this, and 
Hopefully we'll be using them again in the future. Thank you for tuning in. Barry, close us out. All right, be sure to back up. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram and check us out on TikTok. And hit that notification bell. Keep updated with our future uploads. Peace and blessings. Blessings.